Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be going over an updated everyday jewelry collection. I've always been in love with jewelry ever since I was a little girl. Whenever we would go shopping anywhere I always wanted jewelry. Costume jewelry, whatever jewelry. Claire's. Ugh. I used to love Claire's. This is gonna be a mix of cheapy jewelry, more expensive jewelry, designer jewelry, no name brand jewelry. So if you're interested in just seeing what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, then this is the video for you. I have uploaded a jewelry collection. I think I uploaded it about a year ago and I am gonna be touching upon some of those pieces mentioned in that video, but I'm not gonna go into those pieces as in depth because I've already done this. But if you want more in depth, like stories behind the pieces, so on and so forth, then I will link that video here as well as put it down below and in the end credits of this video. I'm currently in my closet. It is a little noisy in here. You're going to hear planes. You're going to hear kids running outside. So just FYI, we're making the best of it. And we're just hanging out and grab a drink because I feel like this is going to be a long one. And let's hop right into the video. Let's bring it on in for the real thing. This is what my everyday stack looks like. I have my engagement ring and my wedding band on this finger. This is a ring that I bought from Amelia. She is a YouTuber here on YouTube. Obviously she's an influencer. I wanted to support her and I really like this ring. And then on this hand, I have my Cartier Clash ring, which I absolutely love. I have my husband's signet ring that his parents bought for him when he made his communion that no longer fits him. So he gave it to me. Cartier Panther ring, which I love this ring. I don't know if you can see, but it has a pan panther with gemstones as the eyes and it's so cute and I love it because I love cats and it's just like so me. All of these I have mentioned previously except for the shamrock ring. I have never mentioned this ring before because this is newer to my collection and then also the David Yurman cable pinky ring. I bought this for myself for my birthday. I am I've gotten to the point where I buy myself way too many things for myself for my birthday. I was in the Short Hills Mall as I always am. That is where I typically tend to get in trouble but I walked by the David Yurman store and they had this huge billboard of the this woman. It was Miley or it was someone that looked like Miley and I am a huge Miley fan. She was wearing this pinky ring. I had to go in the store. I met my sales associate Andrea and we placed an order for this because I have freakishly small fingers. Okay so in here I have a bunch of different places where I keep my jewelry. If you have like a really good jewelry organizer that can hold a decent amount of jewelry please let me know down below in the comments because I need like a centralized location where I can store all of my goodies. But since uploading my last video I have I've also added this beautiful ring. It is so freaking cool. But this is my great aunt's. Her son was giving away some of her jewelry. This was something that nobody claimed and I just saw it and it's just so cool. It's like an heirloom. Like when will you ever see anything like that? It's gold and then it has three diamonds. And I don't know if you could see, but it kind of is like one loop. It's so interesting. I was wearing this so, so much, but I just wanted to wear my Clash on this hand because I like how it kind of matches all my other rings. My Cartier Clash ring is rose gold. Cartier's rose gold. It's not really like too pinky, so you can get away with it. Although I am not someone to shy away from mixing metals. I love gold. I love silver. I think mixing gold and silver kind of gives an edgy bohemian vibe. I don't know. It's like a carefree cool girl vibe and I'm here for it. Most of the time I'll just take, I always wear my clash ring, but I'll take my clash ring off. I'll put it where my little shamrock guy is over here and I'll just take the shamrock ring off. That's just like a fun ring to me. I got it on super sale, which you know, fun jewelry and jewelry that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be expensive, it could be cheap, but I always love to wear my Cartier ring. My husband bought it for me. And in my last video, I mentioned that he wanted to buy the same ring as me because it's like a fidget spinner. Like if you could feel it, it has like movement to it. But my husband wanted to buy it, he bought it. And now we have matching Cartier Clash rings. This was the stack before the summer. So that is with my heirloom ring on and it's so, so pretty. I was wearing this a lot in my last video. This is a Grecian ring. I bought this when Mike and I were in Santorini. I forgot like what the name of this is, but it's some kind of like architectural kind of name. It's slipping my mind, but I used to wear this a lot. I really haven't been wearing this as much. So basically I was wearing this and then I found the heirloom ring, got this resized because it did not fit me and it was smashed in on this side. So I brought it to my jeweler. I got it fixed. My heirloom ring replaced this ring, but you know, on any given day, you can find me with an array of rings. I would have all 10 fingers. I would have rings on them if I could. 
it's just kind of like vibe rock and roll chic i love jewelry i think the more the merrier i love gaudy things i am a jersey girl i'm italian and it's just it's who i am to the core i think let's talk about bracelets this is like my everyday stack and then i typically build upon this so you guys have seen this so many times but i have my cartier Justine Claw. I don't know how you say it, but it is the typical nail bracelet. I went for the smaller size just because the big one's cool and it makes a statement. I like to incorporate pieces that complement one another. I don't like to add pieces that take away from the overall vibe. I hope that makes sense. So I have that. And then this is a new piece. Mike bought this for me from London Jewelers. Gold with diamonds. I hope you can see. I hope that she zooms and it has an evil eye. And obviously I love evil eyes because I have my evil eye tattoo. Super cute. I love how dainty it is. And that is my most recent bracelet, tennis bracelet that Mike bought for me years and years ago. He bought this for me at Macy's. They still sell it. I will link it down below. I will link as many things as I possibly can down below. And I also have my Cartier Love bracelet. I have the smaller size. I always say go for it. They're chic, they're sexy. And I will, I just, I wear this every day. It has not come off my wrist in the three years that I have owned it. It was my wedding gift from my husband and it means so much to me. They do scratch, you need to get past it. But I say this all the time, I'm the kind of person Person where my jewelry becomes a part of me because it becomes a part of just me. I wear it every day. It's like tattoos for me. Wear a lot of the same pieces. Will always be a jewelry fanatic. Ask anyone in my family. I have always love jewelry. I just think like when in doubt, accessorize. That is literally the motto, like the fashion motto of my life. You can't go wrong with a fun accessory here and there and it definitely elevates any kind of look that you got going on. Like I'm wearing a workout top. It is a hundred degrees in here. Whoa, I'm in my closet. It's so hot. It's 96 degrees outside today. I'm sweating, hence the lot of shine that I have going on. But like I'm wearing a plain white shirt and like look at my jewelry. It just elevates it without doing much. Van Cleef, this is the five motif Alhambra in Cornelius. Cornelius, I always do this. I should have better prepared, but it is the red color. Now this is a piece that I take on and off. The rest of them I leave on me. I sleep in them. I shower with them. I work out in them. However, this is a gemstone. It is precious and it will shrink if it gets exposed to water. So I just try to take care of it. I don't shower with this. I put this on in the morning and I take it off at night. I don't sleep with it. I did sleep with it the other night and she's fine. So that might be bad because I may end up sleeping with her on a little bit more often, but just know that if you buy a gemstone Van Cleef bracelet, depending upon the stone also, that depends how sensitive they are. This is one of the toughest stones and that's why I picked it. And also it like reminds me of my dad. I went into a whole thing about it um, during my unboxing video of it. So I will link any videos where I have unboxed any of my newer pieces down below. I did an unboxing of my David Yurman ring. I did an unboxing of my Van Cleef bracelet and I did an unboxing of my Evil Eye bracelet. I was wearing my fortune off, my mom and dad bought this for me I think when I was in sixth grade for Christmas one year but it's three hearts with diamonds in the middle and I've mentioned this before because I've had this since I was a, a really young kid I do often wear it on this hand to keep the silvers together again I don't mind mixing I wear my clash over here also I have a very fair complexion naturally and I just find that gold pulls out more of my undertone in my skin in a very complimentary way see I have these like shitty stacks from Amazon I hate them I have my little evil eye beaded bracelets these are just fun I really enjoy them I bought them at a mac and cheese fest I love blue so it's just you know I just like to add if I'm wearing blue I'll add a pop of color my Fendi cuff that that I had in my last video, which such a fan of this. I love this bracelet. However, I will say this to you. If I could go back in time, and I said this in my last video, I would not recommend buying designer jewelry, designer costume jewelry. Like Cartier, it's gold. Gold will always hold its weight and value, but this is not real gold. This is like fake gold, but you're paying a few hundred dollars for the Fendi name. So if I could go back in time, I would not have bought this. I did buy this when I was in Italy on my honeymoon. And I love that it has the double F's. Obviously, my name is Fortune. I like the F's. And I just think it's a cute little cuff. And I like the shape of it. It sits upright, never spins around. So the F is always on top. Whereas I struggle with this. I really regret buying this piece. Although, again, it is hard to regret buying things when you are on your honeymoon and you want to take a piece with you so that you remember it. This is my Louis Vuitton bracelet. This is their classic, like, Louis Vuitton symbol. This is not real gold either. Charm is so heavy. This is what I look at like when I'm talking. I look at the class because this is so heavy. Oh, 
Oh my god, I thought I just broke it. I just didn't clasp it. Oh my god, that just gave me a heart attack. I mean, yeah, do I regret buying it? I do. I don't think it's worth the money, but I don't want it to break. <laughs> I wish it would just sit like this. So I have been playing around with this. I do oftentimes take what's left over and I will run it under the other pieces. I'm like a MacGyver when it comes to my jewelry. I do this with my necklaces too. I'll loop it around like that so that it stays up top. Rosary bracelet that my husband bought for me when we were in Positano. I've showed you guys this before, but it's really cool. I have Mary over here and it is reversible. So you have diamonds on this side in white gold. And then this side you have rose gold and onyx. Same thing with the cross, diamonds, and then onyx and so on and so forth but it's a vibe i love this i oftentimes will switch this between this wrist and this wrist i don't know but i never take this off it's always on me it holds such a special place in my heart it's from my husband we were on our honeymoon and then i have my apple watch i did want to mention a watch that i did not mention in my last video but my husband bought this for me for our first year anniversary and i want to get into the habit of wearing it more i hate my phone i'm in a spot where everything makes me anxious i just feel like i don't need the constant news updates and so i I kind of want to step away from wearing my Apple Watch and I think you might just see this watch a little bit more. So my husband bought me this Santos watch for our one year wedding anniversary. I love it so much. I don't wear it enough. I used to wear it a lot more. I'm sorry that there's a glare, but I love how it's like masculine, but it's also feminine at the same time. I should put it on backwards so that it's facing you so you can see what it looks like. Holds please. This is what it looks like. It's so nice. I love this watch. Um, and I'm definitely going to start wearing her a bit more. Actually, you know what? Let's turn her around and let's wear her for the remainder of this video. It's just, it's so pretty and I don't take her out enough. Mike actually made fun of me because I asked him for watch bands that he doesn't use. And I got to a point where I wanted to wear this so badly, but I also wanted to wear my Apple watch that I started wearing my Apple watch around my ankle. And then he told me that I looked like I was on house arrest. And then the summer happened and it has been a scorchingly hot summer all freaking summer. So I've been wearing a lot of shorts and a lot of dresses and literally I just I can get away with that in the cooler months when I'm wearing pants you know what I'm saying I know you know what I'm saying I have quite a lot of earrings this is one of them I was in the city I was picking up lunch one day and I walked by a street fair I had no idea there was a street fair and they were selling like knockoff earrings I love a knockoff they're like enamel brown and they have the YSL logo on them they're not real um, but I will find them and link them down below. I just, I love how they complement my brown hair. They're so pretty and I will find the company that makes them. I don't think that they sell these online, but they sell very similar shape. I love the oblong rectangular shape. They sell it as like a Louis Vuitton print. I will link them down below, but these are so pretty. I absolutely love them. My battery died as always when we were just getting into the earrings. So again, I really love these. Um, they're so, so cute and I will find the Louis Vuitton ones down below, but let me take these out so we can move on to other earrings. I still have these crazy hoops that are textured that Mike bought for me from Macy's. Silver, but gold plated. I love them. I love how light they are, but they make, they're such a big earring, but they're so lightweight. They're so comfortable to wear. I love it. I love it. I love a big hoop. I always love hoops. I've always been a hoop girl. And just like the texture of it, I don't know if you could see, but it's like smooth on one ribbon and then textured on the other ribbon. It just adds so much fun to the earring. I also have these earrings that Mike bought me from Nordstrom. They're like a teardrop earring, super lightweight. I love lightweight earrings. I am someone where if it's heavy, I will not wear it. I just want to feel like it's a part of me, not like it's fighting with me. So this is them. I like these because they're not a hoop, but they kind of like give hoop vibes. I don't know. It's like a teardrop to be see. They're so pretty. And I love how my gold jewelry kind of like pops a bit more against my brown hair. If you don't know, I used to be a lot more blonde and I used to be better at setting up my filming arrangements, but here we are. So love these. These are so fun. I still have my decrepit earrings from Forever 21. Super light, just big Giganda earrings. I put these on the last time that I filmed this video and I wore them for the whole time, but they're just, you know, you don't need to know. These were like $5. They're so cute. I also have these smaller versions that my aunt bought me when I think she got me these from Forever 21. These are like more rose golds. We love a hoop that moves with us. Where it's like I'm talking and I could be sassy and it just makes me feel sassy. I love, I love, 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 love. Now these I don't really wear, but I just want to show them to you because they're staring at me. I bought these at Lomans like a bajillion years ago. Do we all remember Lomans? Rip to Lomans. Look at these earrings. I need to wear these more. 
I do lean a little bit more towards silver toned jewelry, whether it's white gold, silver, sterling silver, whatever, fake silver. Um, I do wear that a lot more often in the cooler months. I also have these earrings that I don't really wear these often either, but I need to, seriously, the motivation for filming this video was to really go through all the things that I have because I'm trying to do a serious declutter. My aunt bought me these. How cute are they? We have matching earrings. I love them so, so much. I think she bought these for me at Lowman's too. But they're a vibe very sophisticated, but still fun and still like sassy with the head tilts and the head talking, you know, it's just a vibe. I have so many earrings though. If I just, earrings are fun. My rings, I love them. And I tend to pick a ring and stick to the ring, but earrings, I change them every day. I have these Bottega dupes. I wore them for a hot minute and I haven't really been wearing them as much lately just because I feel like everyone again and their mother has them. Why can't I put these in my ear? I'm trying to rush because Mike's on his way home and I get like a little nervous. Like I get a little shy when I film and he's like, in the house. I don't know. I'm so weird. You would think I would be less weird because I've been doing this for what feels like a lifetime in a day. Um, but no, I get shy. So I have them in silver and I have them in gold. I love these. I just hate that everyone else and their mother has them, but they came in a set. I bought these on Amazon. I will link them down below. It came in a set of gold. So I, I have, you know, the sets. I have a set of gold here and I have a set of silver here. They're a little overdone, but I will link them down below and I will not judge you for buying them because I myself clearly bought them. I thought they were cool. Cool. And I do, I'm going to wear them and I'm going to wear one in one because I think that's cool and that will make me different and set me apart from everyone else. I don't know why. I just always have the need to not fit in so much. It's so strange. Anyway, I have my Fendi earrings. I mentioned these in my last video. I would not recommend buying these. Again, costume jewelry, spend a decent amount of money just because the name is Fendi and these are heavy and I don't love a heavy earring. These I wear exclusively for nights where Mike and I are going to dinner. I wear them to dinner. We get home and they come off my ears immediately the moment we get home. I should really just stick to the Amazon pieces, right? I bought these. These are like triple hollow hoops. These are so freaking cool. And I couldn't decide which size I wanted. So I bought two sizes. So let's see. This is so hard for me to throw these on. When I get dressed in the morning, I just like throw my earrings in one, two, three, but today I'm struggling. So this is the bigger side. Sassy. She's sassy. And then I bought a smaller size because I was like, you know, some days I want to be sassy and some days I just want to be a sophisticated woman, multi personalities that live within me. And I feel like that's fun, you know, keep it spicy. So here's the smaller size and here's the larger size. And I love them both. They're both a vibe. I like how they kind of go a bit to the side. They're not like forward facing. Maybe it's the way that my ears are pierced. I don't know, but they're so cute. I really like them both, but I would say I tend to lean towards this side more. They really remind me of my Masoma earrings. I had a pair of Masoma silver ones. They were so heavy. It was like pulling my ears down. I sold them because I just couldn't deal with them, but they give that vibe, but they're hollow. So they're a lot lighter. They're not like super, super, light but they don't pull my ears down i could wear these all day very comfortably and again i will link both out i will link both pairs down below what's happening to me just like ripping my ears out today other amazon earrings i love these and so many of you have bought these i like to wear these in my second hole eclectic earrings i would say they're like little huggies and they have fake diamonds on the hoop and then on the inside, it looks like a heart, but it also looks like a guitar pick. And then there is a little turquoise evil eye. I have the set. I like to wear one at a time. I don't know. I don't like to wear them both, but I don't know if you could see. But can you see the evil eye in the middle? It's so freaking cute. I also bought these on Amazon. I don't know if they're still available, but I will try and find them. But these are like my summertime fun earrings. These are a bit heavy, but this is a sand dollar. I don't know if you could see that. And then these are, I don't think that these are real pearls because I think I bought these for like 10 bucks on Amazon. These are a bit heavy. I like to wear them um, again if like Mike and I are doing something like going out to dinner or going out to lunch down the shore. It's a vibe. It looks really cute with my top. Again, it just like kind of levels up any outfit that you're wearing. So I'm a really big fan of these. Bought these on Amazon as well. I also mentioned these hoop earrings in my last video, but I bought these Italian gold earrings on Gilt. So I have these little pudgy ones, my little chubby earrings. I will put that in my first hole. Can you see? 
I'm not gonna talk about them too much because I've talked about them before. And then I bought a skinnier pair that, oh, hello. I already have an earring over here. This is like corporate America appropriate hoop. Although I'm telling you now, do not, do not put it past me. I will wear my Giganta Forever 21 earrings. I will to work. It doesn't matter. Also, I have these earrings. I really need to polish them. I should have polished them for this video. I bought these at... TJ Maxx, but they're sterling silver. They're a little Paget earring as well. She's hot and she's sweating, but can you see my earring? The silver, it's so cute. These are super lightweight. You don't even feel them. And I love when my earrings like clack together. It's such a vibe. It's so sassy, so sassy. Necklaces. Now, I really have not been venturing out in the necklace department. I have only been wearing this one, which you've seen so many times, but Mike bought me this gold chain necklace, and then I threw on my Maloika, which is the Italian hand. It wards off like bad energy that people put on you, especially when they're jealous. And then I have the Italian horn, which it's so funny because multiple people have asked me if this is a pepper. I don't know it as a pepper. I've only known it as the Italian horn. So I have the chain that Mike bought me. I have the Maloika that I bought myself when I was in Positano. And then I have the horn that my mom and dad bought me for Christmas quite a few years ago. When I opened it, I sobbed. It was like the perfect gift. I loved it. I have a lot of like chunky necklaces. Let me bring you in really quickly, really quickly. Oh God, I'm sweating. Don't look at my sweat. Chunky necklaces from Amazon. So this is one of them. I like this. I will link it down below. I like that it's like chunkier costume jewelry you don't spend a lot of money on, but I like the texture, how it's smooth on one loop and then it's like a rope on the other. It's just fun and it looks expensive without being expensive. I also have this one. It's like a paper clip necklace that I bought on Amazon. I like this because you can wear it a multitude of ways. So you could just loop it like this, make it like kind of like a toggle. Like that's cool. And if I have... A little bit of a chest in this shirt. I normally don't though, but if you have a nice chest, this would draw the attention. If you want attention there, it would look nice. I didn't mention these in my last video and I don't know why, but Mike bought these for me when we were in, I think we were in Florence. We went to, ooh, that street, Ponte Vecchio something. I don't know. I need to go back to Italy because I'm forgetting the names of things. And I'm also like slacking on my Italian lessons, but look at these freaking earrings. This is like when I want to be a Dolce and Gabbana model. Like that's the vibe. Is it not the vibe? Look at how intricate these are. And I think these were like 25 US dollars when we went. I love them. They're so pretty. I love how detailed they are. This is like etched. It's like, it's not like a print. I don't know if you could see. Oh my God, they're stunning. Gorgeous, beautiful. I feel like a Dolce & Gabbana model. All I need is a red lip and like a bustier and girl, we are there. See, this is how I'm so unorganized. I just have trays of jewelry everywhere. I'm still rocking my Jacoji hoop earrings that my mom and dad bought for me a couple years ago. It was the last gift that my dad bought me for Christmas. It was the last Christmas I spent with my dad. I don't know why I always find the need to say that, but I just do, but these are them. They're just like little huggy gold earrings. I tend to wear these in my second hole or my first hole depending upon my mood. But since then, this is a little depressing to say. Last Christmas, without my dad, my mom bought me, it was the first Christmas without my dad, but my mom bought me these really pretty like blue Nile earrings. One side is just gold and then the other side is diamonds and they are so freaking pretty. I wear them all the time. I always get so many compliments on them. I found this bracelet that in my last video, I was like, I can't find my Venice bracelet. Well, I found it. I found her a couple weeks ago, but isn't that crazy? She was missing for like a whole year but I bought this when Mike and I were in Venice on our honeymoon. He bought it for me. It's so cute. Again, I love a pop of color. I've also been wearing this Gucci watch so much. My grandma gave this to me. Her son bought it for her. My uncle Joey, he passed away. Like, I, I don't even know how long it was ago, like almost 20 years ago. That's so freaking wild. But he bought this for her and she didn't wear it. So I asked her if I could have it and she gave it to me. How sweet of her. Um, but I've gotten the battery replaced and when I'm not wearing my Apple watch, I have been wearing her. I just, I like this vibe because it's like a bracelet, very feminine and something that I hold near and dear to my heart. Another thing from my grandma, this was her communion cross. And I used to wear it on a chain on my chest, but recently I've been throwing it on a little box chain and I have been wearing that around my wrist. And it's just like a very dainty bracelet. 
with a little cross. I should really put this on and start wearing this again, but I was wearing it with my rosary. Of course, I have my necklaces that I wore in my last video. I still wear them, but I don't know. Just this summer I've been wearing. This has just been my go-to. I haven't taken this off. As I mentioned in my last video, I was wearing the Evil Eye. Oh, I still have them like tethered together because I like to tether them together when I wear them. But I have my Evil Eye. You know I love an Evil Eye and it matches my new bracelet and my tattoo. I have this guy here. And then my sister bought me this 44 because that's a number that I shared with my dad, him and I. So these are the necklaces that I was wearing in my last video. I'm sorry if you felt like this was rushed, but I just feel like I'm sweating to death in this closet. I have so much jewelry in front of me that I now need to put away and kind of like go through and donate things because there's a lot of stuff in here that I didn't show you that I haven't worn in a while. And I honestly don't see myself wearing, but do be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Sorry, I'm sweat. But let me know what was your favorite piece from my collection you could tell me one favorite piece you could tell me your favorite ring your favorite bracelet your favorite necklace anything that you want to talk about i would love to hear it let me know down below is there a piece of jewelry that you wear every day on the regular i would love to hear about it do you have a favorite jewelry designer let's talk about jewelry down below in the comments i love it it is by far like my downfall if there is one thing in life that I will continue to spend my money on, it's jewelry. I feel like it's timeless. It holds so much sentimental value, especially pieces that have been given to me from my loved ones that I wear day to day on the regular. You know, pieces that my parents bought me now that my dad is no longer here. It's just like a piece of those that you love that you can keep with you every day. And I love jewelry. I'm very passionate about it. And if I could go back in time, I would become a jewelry designer or at least like work in the jewelry industry I don't know what happened to me but here I am but you know I'm thankful and grateful for the life that I have because if I didn't have this life then I wouldn't be able to not even afford the pieces but I wouldn't have the love that I have in this life that I receive so much from my loved ones you know whether it's earrings that my my aunt Debbie bought me from Lowman's I love their forever 21 earrings I love the beautiful pieces that my parents have bought me the beautiful pieces that my husband has bought me oh my god I forgot about my diamond earrings how dare I these were not in my last video because my bought them for me for Christmas this past year but these are just diamond stud earrings I've always wanted diamond studs but let's throw these in I can't believe I was almost gonna close out this video without mentioning them but look at these whoa I love them they're so freaking beautiful what do we think? They're so nice. I feel like these take away from it. I gotta take the Amazon earring out, but look at those. Oh, I love them. But anyway, do be sure to let me know what was your favorite piece, and I will link as much as I possibly can down below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.